Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft Server Forge so that you can use mods on your server. First thing you need to do is download Forge. Head over to files.minecraftforge.net, I'll leave a link in the description, and download the Forge version you need. For example, if you're running Minecraft 1.13.2, then download that one. For this example, I'm going to be using Minecraft 1.12.2. Make sure to get the Forge version which works with your mods. Then select it on the left here, and usually the latest version works fine. I'm going to download that one. If the latest one crashes or doesn't work for some reason, try the recommended version. Ensure you download this install right here, as it works for both Windows and Mac. Then locate to where you downloaded the installer and open it. Select the install server radial button, not the install client one. Of course, you'll need to find a place to download it to on your computer. So create a folder you can easily find. You don't have to name it anything in particular, but I'm just going to name it server forge. After you've completely finished, you can of course delete this folder. Next step is to ensure that the installer downloads all the files into that folder. So click the three dots here and find the folder. After that, click OK and wait for it to finish. And then everything should be downloaded into that folder. What you need to do now is upload the files to the panel. Head over there and back up all your important files since we're going to be reinstalling the server. Then go to the reinstall tab and make sure that it's the correct version. Mine of course is 1.12.2. Keep in mind that the type of server should be either vanilla or forge. I'm just going to go for the vanilla version right now and change it later since we're going to be doing that anyway. The reason why you need to back up all your important files is because we're going to remove all the files to avoid any conflicts. Then finish up the process and you're pretty much done. Now wait for the server to completely finish starting up and then stop the server. Now upload the forge files from earlier. To do this, go to files and hit the upload files button over here in the top right. I'm firstly going to upload the libraries folder. So I'm going to use the upload folder feature. And then I'm going to upload the rest of the files, just like so. It's very simple, but if you're having issues, let us know and we can help you out. After that, head over to the advanced settings in your dashboard and select the forge jar instead of the default one. Start your server and we're pretty much done. As you can see, the server is starting up with no errors. And when I go to the files section, you have the mods folder, which you can upload your mods to. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.